Hello, and welcome to part two of this three-part tutorial providing an introduction to ICPSR, an online archive of datasets and survey data in the social sciences. In part one, we went over how to find the link to ICPSR on the library homepage and how to set up an ICPSR account. This part of the tutorial deals with searching for datasets in ICPSR itself. So, here we are on the ICPSR homepage. The first thing we're going to do is log into our account. To do this, we click on the purple Find and Analyze Data button right here. This will take us to the Advanced Search page. However, before we begin our search, we're going to go over here to the upper left-hand corner and click on the Login Create Account button. This takes us to the Login page, where we're going to enter the email we used to set up our account and our password in the fields under Returning User. All right, at this point, we're returned to this page with a variety of search options. But now, your name and a logout option will appear in the upper hand, left-hand corner of the screen. In this case, my name. Now, depending on your familiarity with your topic, you can browse ICPSR by series, by topic, by geographic area, by the specific investigator who generated the data set, or you can view all the studies. If you know the specific title of the data set you're looking for, you can also input that title directly into the search box. In this case, let's do a keyword search, and we'll use the terms drug abuse. Okay, so this search brought up 1,006 results, which is usually a bit much, but as we're just browsing here, we'll use them. The results page gives us the title of each study, um, the data set's ICPSR number, which is right here, and the name of the individual or institution responsible for generating this data set. In some cases, the result will be part of a larger series of studies, and there will be a link showing us how many more results in the series there are, like right here, and we'll provide access to them if we click on it. So let's have a look at one of these results. How about this one here, the National Household Survey on Drug Abuse from 1988. Clicking on the title provides you with the data set's record. This provides you, once again, with the name of the study and its ICPSR number, and the investigator's name. In this case, it's the US Department of Health and Human Services. But it also now includes a summary, like an abstract, that goes into detail on what this data set covers to help you determine whether or not this data set covers the information you're looking for. Scrolling down, you'll also see this section right here called data sets, um, which gives you the options for downloading this data set, something we'll demonstrate in just a moment. The record also provides you, if we scroll down a little more, with the citation information for this data set and options to download it to citation managers such as EndNote if that's what you want to do. Further down, there's information on the scope of the study, its population, its methodology, which will be helpful in any analysis of the data. And finally, there are links to publications that have cited or used this data um, in their own research. This can be helpful in both determining whether or not you want to use this data set, but also in showing you how other researchers have used this data in the past. And many of these articles are available from the WSU Libraries databases. Okay, so having looked at all this information, you decide that you definitely want to download this data set. But now what? Well, we scroll back up here to the top, and if you look in the section labeled data sets, this area will provide you with a number of different uh, ways to download the data, depending on what type of software you'll be using to analyze it, such as SAS, SPSS, Stata, and so forth. While we use SPSS here at WSU, the best option is usually to select the Download All Files option up here, which ensures that no matter what, you will get the file type you need, as well as the dataset's codebook, which you may need in order to decipher the data later on. So clicking on the Download All Files link will take you to this page where you'll be given the terms of use for this particular data set. Terms that may cover the privacy of research subjects or the proper citation of data, etc. 
you're going to want to take a moment, read the terms, make sure you know what you're agreeing to, and then scroll down here and click the I agree button. Now, your data set will be downloaded to your computer on a zip file. If you're using a PC like I am here, you choose to open the file with Windows Explorer and you're going to just click OK. If you're using a Mac, you're going to want to double click on the file when it pops up and you'll be asked if you want to unzip it. The process should begin automatically when you say yes. But going back to us PC users, after we click OK, a window with a file folder titled ICPSR with a series of numbers after it, this is the dataset's ICPSR number, is going to pop up. What you're going to want to do with this, one sec, is click on this file and drag it onto your desktop like this. Okay, here it is, it's on your desktop. When you've done that, congratulations, you've just downloaded your first data set. Now, in our next tutorial, we will demonstrate how to take this data set you've downloaded and analyze it in SPSS. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions regarding searching or downloading data sets from ICPSR, please consult the LibGuide at the address on the screen or contact the University Library's Reference Desk at 316-978-3584.